after the game, the dressing room lads were pretty upbeat. Like if you'd said to me 71 and a half minutes into the game that we were going to get another chance, you'd have bitten someone's hand off. Um, Donald Drummond them popped up there with a pint and look, the overriding emotion at the end of the day is relief and we have another chance to, to, to claim an Ireland medal. Obviously we were four or five points up at a couple of stages and you, you'd like to see it out from there but that, but, uh, that wasn't to be and Cork are an excellent team and they, they got a couple of great goals and uh, you'd be lying if you said you, you didn't think it was gone from you at that stage and, uh, but there's always a, a bit of hope when, when the ball is still in play and thankfully it was later on for a couple of seconds and Donald Dunman scored a, a magnificent point to, to draw it, uh, probably one of the last people we expected to score it but uh, when it came we were all delighted and uh, it's great to have another go at it now. There was bits of it I did okay, but look, there's other parts that I wasn't happy. Um, it was as a goalie, you pride yourself on the concession of goals, and on the day I conceded three, and my opposite number, Anthony Nash, didn't concede any, and to rub salt in the wounds, uh, he came up and buried the 21-yard free. But look, there are things I'm going to have to work on the next day. Like, we know that Cork are going to run at us and try try get goals and, look, have overlaps, but that's going to something something I have to work on, and the team are going to have to work on that to counteract that the next day. Both teams will feel, if they just up in another small bit, it can, it's very difficult to, to improve by a lot at this level from day to day, so just um, picking up small little mistakes that we did last day and hoping for a bit of luck in the day and hope you're hoping that that'll be enough to get you over the line. There's been a buzz in training all year and I think Davey and Louis and the management team, they really add to that because they're different characters and look, there's a great buzz, there's a great bond within the group and we have we train hard for our 60, 70 minutes during training and you can lads have the crack as well during training. So. To be honest with you, there's a lot of young lads there and they look forward to going training and just being part, part of the group as well. A lot of kids um, are seeing Claire having success like we did uh, with Claire back in the 90s. We saw something similar, so it's great to have another uh, generation of Claire people come through seeing a bit of success. I don't think you can do any harm anyway to have beaten a lot of the more traditional counties at underage and to have a few medals in, in your back pocket going into senior level. But uh, it can work the other way as well. If you have a bit of success too young, it might... Uh, take away our desire and appetite but uh, thankfully it doesn't seem to have happened so far and all the younger players are, are just as eager and have a big appetite for more success at senior level.